Hello friends, Priya here. Today I am going to show you a mixed media diary cover process video which I have done for my design team project for expressions craft. So let's begin. Here as you can see I have already given a code of white gesso to this diary which was originally yellow in color. Now I give one more coat of gesso and dried it. Now I am using this stencil from Expressions Craft and with the help of texture paste I am going to make some texture. I am starting from the back side of the cover. You can also remove the diary from the cover before doing this process but that will be a very long process for me and it's very tiring I am totally lazy for this so I opted to do it as it is and that's why I covered it with the newspapers so that my pages remain safe and the colors don't soak up into the diary so now I have done the back side of my diary these stencils are of really really good quality you can just check them out in the expressions website I will link all the product details in the description below and these stencils are really good they do not stain you don't have to rush to wash them off immediately you just can finish your product and then wash it um, but uh, these are really really good quality stencils I did some mistake here so now again I'll, I think I'll do some more texture on this side of the diary now I'll dry it up a bit so once this is done what I'm doing here is I have added some uh, sand to my gesso and I as you can see I applied on the on the portions where I have not stenciled so once it is completely dry you can see how it looks now I have got my desired texture so for the centerpiece now I am using expressions craft stencil uh, sorry chipboard here um, in the beginning I thought of using this oval one but then I settled for this circular one my diary is really small so I want this a uh, small centerpiece in between so now I'm deciding which chipboards I want on this and how I want it so finally I went for this flourish one this is very intricate and the quality is really good they don't break so easily and uh, these are e easily removable from the the package also so now I'm arranging it this way for the back side I don't want it to be very bulky so I'm just putting one branch of this flourish design on the back side and on the front I'm using some embellishments um, some flowers uh, these are uh, metal flowers so I'll be doing this So now before doing that I am adding a diluted uh, white gesso again over my whole project so that it will protect um, the whole this um, texture and the colors will really pop up. So in the beginning what I did is uh, now I am drying it so I just um, pasted all this uh, chipboards with the help of gel medium and now I am going to add some stones these stones are recently launched by expressions craft and these are really good quality stones you can go and check them out in the website please please buy this stuff and use them these are really good quality you love them I just love these stones uh, all three uh, sizes are there mega mini and the medium one the minis are like really sweet and cute ones I'm using a lot of mini here uh, then I will uh, use some mega stones also here and there uh, so that I 
want some more texture like on this uh, cover i'm not going to use any of the stones on the back side because i we are really going to see the back side of our diary so i'm not going to use that so here i'm putting some more gel medium and gluing on the mega stones now that all my things are done now i will take out the extra stones that are there that have not been attached to the diary and i just spill them and the bottle also got spilled so it's a lot of hard work afterwards to put them back in the bottle don't be like that please close your bottle after using don't keep it open otherwise you lose so many so now that it is dried completely now in the beginning i thought i will use this royal blue color on my diary so before that i thought why not to check it on this um, circular piece that is going to be my center piece so i just applied blue color and uh, wasted a lot also on the newspaper so i just uh, try to do this some more with the brush i really like um applying the color with the brush but this spray paints are really good they don't spill at all or oh, this flower has not been uh, like dried uh i'll like, go again and dry it so now let me finish the coloring first so what i'm saying about this spray paints are these are leak proof they don't leak at all and they are very good while spraying also they cover the area that you want really and the colors are really vibrant they're not soaking up a lot they're just uh, looking so beautiful when you they look really good in your naked eyes also and on camera also so finally i decided to go for a little dull look so i went for this color this is the chestnut color and you can see how beautiful it is looking right right now i'm not uh, spraying any uh, water i want my color only so i just have dipped my brush in water a bit so that i can put them inside uh, under the flowers and under the stones but you really don't need that i just needed a darker color otherwise if you want a lighter color you can just spray more water along with the color so as you can see the textures are looking so very nice when i added the color and this is such a beautiful color so in my next projects i'm going to use some more colors and not only a single color color project isn't it lovely do you like it i really love the color the the color is looking really nice and some more colors to make it a little bit more darker and then once i finish the front side i'll move to the back side i'll just uh, apply this only this color for this project now cuz can you see how beautiful it is looking right now the sand texture is looking really nice in this stencils are so beautiful you can see the stencil design also here so it is dried now now moving on to the back side of it now it is looking really dull white but now see the magic really love the color here it's looking so awesome if the back side is bulky if i put more chipboards or any other element it will be very difficult to write in the diary when you're going to the end pages especially so i kept it uh, very simple so as you can see now it is done now i'm happy with the coloring now i'll let it dry a bit more 
and uh, now i will go with the front embellishment and i will change the color to uh, brown as well the chestnut color so it's not exactly brown you can see the change of the color here because previously i have applied blue so i just uh, being not so patient i just applied a gesso on that a very light coat then i applied this chestnut color so the color is looking a bit darker than the other part of the diary now i'm applying gel medium on the back side of it and i'm going to paste it on the front of the diary so that it will complete the look what i want right now yes now after pasting now i'll remember what i forgot to do so it will look very dull right now if i am going to leave it like this i hope you are not getting bored by my talk and talk and talk so i forgot this one i got this bored people from a uh, paper pack and i thought it will give a really nice look to my diary so i forgot that now i'm taking it off again and pasting the paper on it now you can see how it looks it's looking awesome now after giving a gel medium on the back side i have pasted it so now see how beautiful it looks it's lovely the back side is also looking really really nice now to seal the now it is completely dried see how it looks so beautiful so lovely and to seal it because the rest of the portions are very bright and it's looking dull so i'll be putting some glossy accent <laughs> 